Welcome back to HTA. This week we're going to start working on cleaning up all of the old wiring that has been left in this theater over the years. To do that, I'm going to have to push back this uh, display to access behind that panel. This whole piece is removable. I'm going to work on getting that removed to see what kind of wiring has been passed through the wall between the edge of the display and our home theater rack and start removing wire. So anything that's not currently hooked up in there is what we're gonna work on removing this week, making way for us to then proceed behind in that access panel that you guys saw in the last video. If you haven't seen that yet, I will uh, click the card above and you can check that out first. We'll then clean up all of that wiring That'll give us a good place to kind of start reorganizing, removing, and getting this ready for product selection. This is all the excess cabling that was left in there over the years and was not hooked up into anything. Now there's a few cables in there that belong to these two guys. I have removed the FM tuner and the VHS player, um, but not much cabling associated with those two pieces. So, you can just see the amount of extra stuff. Here's the start of day two. You guys saw the beginning of this video. We took out all of this wire. We're gonna to continue to take out the rest of the unused wire. Uh, all of this was not being utilized. It wasn't plugged in. It was just sitting in there. Um, so we've got a little bit more to take out. Then we'll finish organizing the wires that are gonna remain in place. Make sure that that's neat and tucked away, looking right. We'll finish um, organizing the theater rack here. We're gonna move some components around. We might move some shelves around.
are just about done cleaning everything out. We took a tremendous amount of wiring out of this theater that was being unused and I just simply found it at the end of one wire, traced it through the system. If it was plugged in on the other side, unplugged it and removed that. Just did that over and over and over again. Um, I ended up taking out the 50 disc player, the um, FM tuner, the Ferrugia unit, and the VHS player. So you can see here in the theater rack, um, it is nice and open now. So we're prepared to add some new equipment back here. We've added some space in. We've got a little bit more cleaning up with the wiring to do. I'm really waiting on finishing that process until we've got our new pieces in there so that all the wiring can be done at once. Um, for those of you that have tried doing this before, it kind of gets you into a sticky situation when you start trying to add stuff in with wiring already run. You really almost have to unplug it all, start with a blank slate. I really try to separate all my power wire from all my video and audio feeds as to not introduce any um, uh, feedback through the system at all. So the only real way that I've found to do that effectively is by um, doing it all. So I'm waiting to unplug the rest of everything and rerun all the wires once I've got all the new equipment in here. You can see, well hopefully you can see, I've got everything bundled up into nice clean loops here. I will also move this TV over to the side here. And if you can see behind there, in fact, let me bring you a little closer. All right, so that's a little bit better angle now. So you can see that I've looped a lot of this wiring back here. Um, I've got a lot of um, loose end wires. A lot of this stuff was ran as extra wire uh, when we did the pre-wire in this home so that we could future-proof this. If we ever needed extra wires, we had it available to us. Um, so just trying to clean up a lot of this. As you guys know, we have a hidden panel or a panel that sits in front of all of that so that it ends up being truly hidden. Um, I've done things like just clean all this wire up. If you remember back to the beginning, and I'll put a shot of that in here, this was just a mess of wire. So it looks much, much better now, much cleaner now. I vacuumed everything out. I mean, so I really cleaned all of that stuff up as well. So it's looking much better. I've wiped down all the shelves here. And let's take a, let's flip over to the other side and take a look at what is going on with the theater rack and the back side of all that. Here we are looking at the back of the AV rack. You can see a lot less wiring than what we were first dealing with. We still have a whole lot more cleanup to do, but I like to wait until all of the equipment is in the rack and then I sort of start from scratch. I unplug everything and um, group things together, audio and video on one side, power on the other, and run everything from scratch so that I can bundle everything together, use some wire loom, and really make it look neat and clean. So. We're not quite done cleaning all this up. This is just the first step of getting all
All right, so there we go. We have a now cleaned up theater. We've got rid of all of our old wiring. We've made space for new equipment to come in. We've got everything clean so that when we go back in, we don't have to worry about dust, any of that kind of stuff. I know I'm not the only one out there that um, doesn't keep up with dusting their stuff. So um, it's a great time to do it when you're changing out equipment. We're ready for the next step in here, which is gonna be introducing some new equipment and then fine tuning the system. So stay tuned as we talk about what's gonna be going into this theater, why we chose the equipment that we did. We're gonna review that equipment for you. We're gonna show you some graphs. We're gonna talk about that. So please comment below, hit that subscribe button and click that bell notification to follow along as we upgrade this home theater.